Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel if you're new, my name is Chelsea, hello, welcome, hi! So today's video is going to be a what's my iPhone slash setup of my new iPhone because I got the iPhone 11. I don't know how many times I can say iPhone in a sentence but I got the iPhone 11 um, in this lilac -y purple colour in love with the colour, it is so pretty, it's so... My mum's doing the ironing, I'm sorry. So me, like in a phone, I really love it. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna show you what apps I've got, um, what ones I use most, and the setup. I hope you do enjoy it, and let's get into the video. So I picked up two phone cases for this phone just to switch it out. They're both from the brand Coconut Lane London. First one I got is this Lilac Brush One, and I also got this Dalmatian Tougher case. So this is a little bit more hard, and this is like a little bit more flimsy. But if I'm honest, I wouldn't totally see a difference in them. Um, there's a big difference in price, but well, not that big. An extra couple of pound. Um, this one was fourteen pound. That was twenty five. But you do you can feel the sturdiness of this more like but when they're on the phone <laughs> when they're on the phone i don't really think you can feel much difference but this one's obviously the tough um the tougher design so it's more like safer i guess phone necessities too like portable chargers and they do like apple watches laptop covers all that jazz they also do scrunchies and i just want to throw this in here this is the best feeling scrunchy i've ever felt in my life like it is such a nice quality and it also matches my phone case how nice is that so i'll leave a link below for coconut lane if you want to check them out i've also got a discount for you you just use just 20 for 20 percent off at checkout i'm sorry i'm really sorry about that i do earn a little commission off this so anything you see or like make sure you use chelsea 20 and you'll save a little bit of money as well okay I got a new phone oh, literally like 10 minutes ago, so I'm going to set it up and show you me setting up my new iPhone 11. got the iPhone 11 and I was really indecisive of what phone I wanted. I didn't really know the difference between any of them, I just know I wanted like a more upgraded phone than what I've got. So this is the iPhone 11, I was going to get the Pro, uh, which has the three cameras, but the girl in the shop to tell me um, all the differences and she showed me the comparison in the camera and I actually preferred this camera and um, I felt like the pro kind of gave it like a filter whenever I took a photo. I'm gonna open it up as you can see I got the lilac colour and it is super super pretty. How gorgeous is that? I love it. You get your um, earphones which is actually handy because I actually need to get earphones. Hello. camera so i hope you don't mind the decrease in quality i'm going to show you my lock screen first because i really love this i really love this little um design is that what you call it um it's, really, it's from pinterest and yeah i really like it so i jump right in and boot my home page here so you can see what i'm talking about <laughs> first of all i'll show you my home page as well i love this little like sayings and i love like the look of it. it says dream plan do 
got that from Pinterest too. I'll just start off with down the bottom. We've got mess messages obviously, phone, Safari and Spotify. I always keep even like this layout, it's very similar to it's a very similar layout to my other phone just because I'm like used to it. I've changed a wee bit from it. Um but it's a very similar layout. And my old old phone I had Spotify down the bottom. And up the top we've got our first page and I've only got two pages actually but First one is Outlook and this has got my uni and my, what would you call that? Normal email connected to it. Then I've got calendar and I hardly ever use calendar but if I do have something like a doctor's appointment or like something urgent I think I may not remember like times of like my eyelash appointment I never remember the times of that so I always like to write it in my calendar. And then we've got photos and camera and I'm really loving the quality of the camera. Um, if you can tell there's such a big difference because I film on my phone obviously right now I'm filming on my old phone that's why there's such a big difference in camera quality then we've got maps, weather, notes and calculator and notes I use so often like whenever I think of something or if I need something or if I want to remember something I write in my notes and then for later I can transfer it into my planner um, and this way I don't forget literally anything well I do but whenever I'm feeling a little bit inspired or anything like that I will write it in my notes so I will not forget it and then I've got settings obviously, app store, clock and reminders and then news which I don't use too often but I do like when they drop the like kind of headlines down um, of like the recent news, I don't know why. I'm not really that into the news but obviously through lockdown and all that it's nice to like keep up to date, you know what I mean. And then we've got health and I just like to track my um, steps in this, I don't know. Oh, I'm just 5,566 today which is more than normal because... I actually went on a walk today and normally I don't. <laughs> so it's really fun. Really healthy. My wallet obviously. And on the second page, this is where I keep literally the majority of my apps that I actually use. Um because the first page is literally just like the stuff you don't really need but you need to have it for like the odd wee alarm you need to set, you know what I mean? Left we've got a folder called extras and this is where I keep my FaceTime, find my iPhone. But remember guys, like, you need to set up Find My iPhone and I didn't actually think this but you actually have to click it and send people your location or then when you do lose your phone, they can track it. It's not like automatic. Well, mine wasn't automatic so pause the video right now and go set up your Find Your iPhone because there's nothing worse when you lose your phone. Like, honestly, nothing worse. Voice memos. I use that for uni but I've never listened to them so I don't know why I actually do it but we've got Amazon Alexa. Um, Bitmoji, I think you need this for Snapchat. Yeah, I'm not even. You need it for Snapchat, so like, yeah, you have all your customised Bitmojis I don't really use, so I don't really know why I have it, but yeah, got that anyway. And I've got Reports Plus, and this is an app you can see people who have unfollowed you, who aren't following you to begin with, and um, if you're not following people that you know, you know where you should be. There's a lot of ads on it as well, um, which is kind of annoying, but I don't really go on it too often. For that folder and then I've got Bank of Scotland which is like online banking so I can like transfer people money and whatever and check my account all my money that I've got <laughs> Facebook and Facebook Messenger obviously and then I've got Instagram you can check my Instagram if you want <laughs> little self plug here and um, it's just Chelsea's mum x and um, it's always in the description and, I'll and then I've got Snapchat and then I've got my YouTube and I watch the majority of my YouTube on my phone I don't watch on my TV but like if I'm like making dinner and all that I'll watch on my phone. I've got Twitter of course and then I've got TikTok. Don't actually use TikTok that often but I like to have it because so like when I'm bored I'll click on it and then I'll be on it for like five hours like I'm in because I'm like I forget to come off it. Then I've got a folder called work and this is where I can sort my rota and all that out for work when it ever starts up again. Um, I work in Nando's if you didn't know. And then I've got this thing and it's called Testy, Testi, I'm not too sure you say it but it's for driving test cancellations. And then I've just shoved that in that folder just because I don't know where else to put it and it was kind of empty. And then I've got my uni folder and this is for uni obviously. I've got uni days and student beans which is like two different discount apps. So if you're a student or maybe like apprenticeship do it as well, uh, you can get discounts from like JD, ASOS, PLT and all that. Um, JD? JD? I don't know. Um, and then I've got my day and this is an app which Tells me on my uni timetable and all that type of stuff. Pinterest. Now, Pinterest is the god of all apps. Like, I'm sorry, she is a 
queen of Pinterest and if you haven't got a Pinterest account already or if you don't even know what Pinterest is stop right now and go do, download it it's absolutely amazing like I go on it all the time I also look for inspiration in not even just like inspiration but like motivation empowerment like I love on Pinterest and look at quotes and you know like empowerment things I've got a full board oh that should not be in there <laughs> leave it aside um I've got a full board all about inspirational quotes as you can see I've got my wee um my wee lock screen in it but yeah I love looking through it and even I sometimes post on Instagram but even if I don't I just like sitting through them and like reading them I don't know <laughs> tell me if you do that um hello the second last folder I've got is my photography folder and I don't really edit my photos too often I don't leave much but I've got a few here I've got Lightroom so I'm looking at it in my presets but if I'm honest I'm really like picky with presets when like I don't want to buy a preset that's like a couple pounds and then not actually like it on any photos do you know what I mean like I need a trial but I don't think I can do that then I've got Visco and that's where I like add my filter to my photos whenever I add one and then I've got YouTube Studio and I keep I like respond to comments, check my analytics and all that on that. Then I Pixar and this is a really cool app. You can edit and you add all these different effects. Obviously you have to pay for some of them but they're so fun to like look at. So you got like that and then we've got the shopping app. Now I don't often keep shopping apps because I will spend money if it's there but I just don't read them obviously. So I've got Zara, H&M, ASOS and PLT. Got my Depop as well, and if yous are between the sizes of four and six, I recommend following my Depop because I'm selling a few items between those sizes, and yeah, they're all like obviously good condition, and I've worn them like once, so definitely check my um, Depop out, Chelsea Smith X. I am plugging so much in this video, I'm really sorry, but you gotta do what you gotta do, you know what I mean? <laughs> Okay guys, that is me finished this video. I hope you did enjoy seeing what's on my brand new iPhone 11 and me setting up and all that jazz. If you did enjoy it, please leave me a big thumbs up and a wee comment below. And if you like what you see, hit that subscribe button and the post notifications turned on and you'll never miss an upload. I will see you in my next video. Bye everyone.